Hey y'all, welcome back to my kitchen. My name is Kelly and today we're making a Polish treat called Krzyczyki. I normally refer to them as angel wings and sometimes you can also refer to them as bow ties. These little treats are usually made um, for Christmas and they put the big ones on bottom and they gradually put the smaller ones on top and it kind of resembles a Christmas tree. But you also can eat them any time of the year on a festive occasion and today is St. Hedwig's Day and since she has ties to Poland, we are making this sweet little treat in honor of her. So come along with me and we'll make it Hey, welcome back. So here I've already got all my wet ingredients for the most part um, in my mixing bowl. You can see all those eggs, sour cream, sugar, lemon, flavoring. It's all in there smelling really good. I'm just going to lock it into our KitchenAid mixer with our paddle attachment and we're going to just let it nice and fluffy. And then we're going to add in the flour ingredients or the dry ingredients and work our magic. Hi, and we're back. I am about to add in our flour mixture. It's just flour and a little bit of salt into our wet ingredients. And there you have it. Super, super easy recipe. The tricky part is just rolling um, your dough out as thin as possible because you want it airy and bubbles will start to, little blisters will start to develop under the, uh, the skin of the um, angel wing when they start to fry and they're just crispy. So the lighter and the thinner you can make them, the better. Now we're just gonna sit here and work the dough a little bit. You're su supposed to be able to get about Probably anywhere between two and a half, three and a half dozen cookies here, depending on the size cookie you choose to cut. And we're just gonna work this dough. and then we're gonna work one side at a time. Um, so like two batches. Um, you wanna keep it covered you, um, so it doesn't dry out. And we'll be back in just a second. Hey, so we're back. And there's several techniques you can use um, when um, trying to make angel wings. And old school methods, definitely can just do it with a rolling pen, but I want to keep mine um, really straight and even shaped, and um, sometimes I hurt my wrist, so I have a hard time rolling things out for long periods of time. Um, if the dough is a little bit harder to roll, I just get out my little pasta press, and I just let it go to town until I get it to the thickness that I want. And I'm going to try to get it down as thin as I possibly can, like a cannoli shell. It's going to pop right up. It's going to be amazing. So we'll see you in a few minutes after I roll the rest of this dough out. So welcome back. I have made great progress in our angel wings. I've gotten to almost the very last piece of dough and I just wanted to show you how I cut them before I start frying them. It might look complicated but it's pretty pretty easy. I am getting the dough to about number three on my pasta maker. And that's it. We just get it out pretty thin. You take your ribbon side of your pasta cutter. and have fun. I like them a little thicker than thinner. They're 
they're easy to work with and they're a little bit thicker and then you just make a little cut in the middle now the Italian way of making butterflies or angel wings you just simply pinch in the middle and there you go you have your angel wings you cut it at a little angle And you can see how pretty is that? That that makes a lovely little angel wing. But since we're doing a Polish, celebrating our Polish saint today, we are doing the Polish way of making the angel wing. So you just take it, you can see that hole. You just take the end, pull that end through the hole, and boom, there you go. See the hole? Take the end, pull it through, and there you go. And you can even do it two times. Two times is pretty as well. Pull it through two times. So I'm gonna do it on. This one's sticking. Let's try this one. Pull it through the hole. Shake it, pull it through the hole, shake it, you can see it's just beautiful. And couldn't be any easier of a recipe and such a fun thing to do with your family. Kids will love this. So now we're going to fry it. We want to make sure our oil is at 350. We really don't want it hotter. And if you have any of those little end pieces left over, make sure there's not um, extra flour on it because the flour is going to um, build sludge at the bottom of your oil and it just starts to burn and taste and smell bad. So we're going to just take a piece and sample it. So they're turning out really nice. We're testing out the first couple and you can see how beautiful they're coming out. It has such an organic um, uh, shape about them. They're all different. They're all beautiful. They're like snowflakes. Perfect for Christmas. Hey, so welcome back. You can see that I already have all my dough fried up and I've powdered sugar both sides of them and they look amazing. I have to say that um, I make everything with a little twist. I like my own little spin on things because I know what works in my house and if that, if you can figure out what works best in your house then go with it. I added cinnamon sugar into my powdered sugar mix and so it's got this nice little cinnamon flavor but um, you know what would be good with this? I think a raspberry sauce for dipping and also maybe a chocolate sauce for dipping. I think it'd just be amazing um, so here you can see this is what our Italian wings would look like and they're so cute perfect little angel wings but and here's the uh, traditional Polish version could be any cuter so I always have to make everything look perfect even the presentation you don't want to skip on presentation so I'm a big believer in recycling my Amazon boxes and so right here you can see I have a box got some tissue paper and I'm just going to simply cover it and I'm going to tie a bow around it, make it pretty, and then I'm going to pile these up nice and high. All right, I'll show you what it looks like in just a minute. Bye. Hey, and welcome back. I have started putting my box together. It's not quite done yet, but it gives you an idea. Just get an old Amazon box that's going into the recycling bin, come back, cover it up with some tissue paper, and slap a nice little bit of ribbon around it. My favorite type of ribbon, of course, is white ribbon because you can make sure it goes in that beautiful shape that you like. Um, and then you don't really have to worry about getting your plate back. So we're gonna go and take these to church tonight for the Sunday school class. Um, so it just can go into the garbage can or they can wrap it up and save it for tomorrow morning's meeting. But I wanted to show you, we're gonna start with the bigger pieces on the bottom and build our way up. And this is how you would present it. They're so fun, they're so yum, and I hope you've enjoyed this recipe. Thanks for being with me. Have a great day, bye.